How you doing? Uh, I just took and, uh, and passed my part 107 test. Okay, how did I do it? Pretty easy. Uh, first thing I did, tried to figure out what I needed to download, all this FAA stuff. What was it, about a million things? Uh, I couldn't sort through that. It was just too overwhelming. I'm not a pilot, don't know anything about any of that stuff. I went to Remote Pilot 101, paid 100 bucks. I think it's 120 now. Went through those videos. Uh, most, a lot of the questions I saw, I've seen before. Uh, on my test, I'd seen them right there. Uh, Jason had covered them. However, if when you go through that, he is an awesome instructor. You need to listen to, listen to what he says. You have to understand the concept of what he's trying to explain, and he explains everything you need to know. Uh, I made a 90 on my test. Uh, I had a lot of questions that they fell in the category of what we talked about, but like I say, the FAA had worded them in such a way that I had to really think about it. I could sort one question out, then I had to really think hard, but by understanding what Jason had said, I was able to uh, do pretty well on the test. And uh, so, you know, you can spend a lot of time on your own uh, or not. You know, I, when I watch the videos, I took notes, then uh, I watched a uh, couple a day, I mean, uh, a couple of chapters a day, and then I screenshot some of the things that I thought was important, read this at night, I think I joined that about a week ago, and uh, paid attention and uh, understood. My biggest tip is if you wear glasses, you need to maybe bring a magnifying glass. Jason actually uh, uh, mentions that. Uh, I got in there, got a little nervous. My face got hot and, made, and my vision blurred. And there was one question on the chart. I could not find what they were looking for. So uh, bring a magnifying glass and uh, study. The test is legit. Uh, oh, and one weird thing that I heard no one say is the instructor, the, the, the proctor, when I got in there, they said, uh, my test was actually 63 questions and she said yeah they're going to be ex three extra questions on your test the FAA puts them on there it says they don't count them right or wrong and uh, they don't count them right or wrong you can come in here anyway? <laughs> hold on a second they, they don't they don't okay they don't count them right or wrong but uh, she said and I don't know if she was kidding a lot but she said uh, they give you more so they can find out more that you miss so they can make the test harder. Wow, I hope that's not true, but the test is hard. But, hey, do Remote Pilot 101, learn the material, study, pass the test. Thank you.